here's a picture that was, probably goes back to 1890. It was my grandfather behind that set of books. Fifteen people were working for the company at that time. Thomas Leahy died in the 30s, and when he died, he left the company to my grandfather, James. Took it over uh, 1932 at the age of 26. In 1965, uh, my father dropped the keys in my hand, and I had eliminated the advertising and then expanded the catalog. The company was uh, growing so fast that I begged my brother Jim to come to work, which had been our plan from the time we were little kids together. He wrote me when I was summing around Europe. And I said, well, give it a shot for a while and see where it goes. A couple of years later, Pat joined the company. When I was seven years old and he was nine years old, we were actually changing the name of the company. We had this dream at, that, at those ages. We determined by ourselves that our fortunes and futures were intertwined. He came back and really the company just took off. From just a small printing operation, we became a master distributor supplier to the industry and other industries since then. I think I became president in 85. We ended up uh, in 1996 uh, buying the 72 acres here in Vernon Hills. When our customers come here and see this, this magnificent campus, I think they're suitably impressed. My dad, since he's been in charge, he has an incredibly strong desire for the family business to stay in the family. It dates back to you know, when, when President Lincoln was still alive, it's 150 years. It's within the grasp of this company to get to 200 years. You know, Dr. Seuss says, all oh, the places you'll go, and, and that's possible that each of these, of this next generation will say, wow, what are the places we can go with this?